and welcome to House Builder Histories from New Homes Historian and today we're going to take a look at an 80s and 90s development called St David's Park by Red Row Homes. Now St David's Park was originally a former open cast mine and Red Row bought it at around about £20,000 per acre and the total acreage of the entire site was 135 acres. The village of St David's Park is located in a place called Iwoli. I've probably spelt that wrong, or Iwol. Um, and that is sandwiched between the A494 and the A55 in North Wales. The plan for St David's Park was to create a 390 home village. All of these will be developed by Red Row, a 500,000 square foot business park, a brand new hotel and the group headquarters of Red Row Homes. In 1989, Redrow opened its Sandringham, Buckingham and Windsor luxury show homes to the public. In 1991, Redrow's exclusive hotel opened to the public and this hotel was run by Redrow themselves. For years to come, St David's Park was the proving ground for all Red Row house types including the new heritage collection. All of these homes were actually born on this development before they hit any other site. They also introduced the Harwood brand. As shown here, you can see some examples of the new heritage collection from Red Row. There are various house types on St David's Park that I have never seen on other developments so they're exclusive to St David's Park. Ahead you can see some of the early 2000 house types. This is when Steve Morgan left the company. Not Red Rose best work if I'm completely honest. The landscaping on St David's Park is second to none with this wide tree lined avenue here and the houses are sort of just tucked in off them. Now here you can see the original red row house types here, you can see um, the new heritage on the right and the original um, Tudor house types on the left hand side. Um, you can see the house type there to the right. That appears very rarely on Red Row sites, but you can see house types like the Buckingham, you can see um, the Gloucester, the Sandringham there, um, a real great range of house types and it really does give this street scene some real credit. never seen on any other site. It's sort of a play on the Epson house type but this is a cul-de-sac of the new heritage range. These are some of the largest houses Red Row actually build on developments. They're really nicely finished.
This street here is one of the first to be built on St David's Park and features the 1988-1989 house type range. You can see we've got house types here um, such as the Stratford, the Warwick, the Lincoln, to name a few. St David's Park isn't one of the largest developments but I think it really gives an idea of, of how pioneering Redrow were with their house types and it really does look like it hasn't aged um, and it's an absolute perfect example of what a 1980s village should look like. The business park that they built on St David's Park is thriving even today and features lots of big name companies. One in particular is a rival house builder, Anwell Homes, who are one of Redrow's main competitors in North Wales. We end this trip at the St David's Park Hotel which has now been sold by Red Row and is being managed by an outside um, hotel chain but it's a great example of what a great village should be. I hope you've really enjoyed the trip it's short but sweet. Like and subscribe to the channel guys and I will be back very soon with some new videos. Thank you for watching.